the New York Jets head coach may have already leaked that Dalvin Cook is on the roster, as we would see him slip up during an interview today. Love the running back room. You know, we do got four really good ones. Um, there's, so there's some competition uh, already uh, between uh, Izzy, Michael, and uh, Bam uh, to, to try to get that third spot. But, um, or the, the two and three spots, if you will. As we all know, Brees Hall is the number one running back currently for the New York Jets. So why would he say the other three backups are trying to get the third running back spot on the team? Does this mean they've already verbally agreed with Dalvin Cook and that he will be joining the team as RB2? Or did Robert just genuinely mix this up with his words? However, we still have other massive updates regarding Dalvin Cook as he has finally visited with the New York Jets. As we have seen him now on the field during their practices, he's been getting very close and even almost signing with the team allegedly. The paperwork is printed out for him to sign. As we've even saw Aaron Rodgers discuss his own pay cut, as well as hinting on how Dalvin was visiting the Jets just yesterday. This 35 million. Yeah, I'm getting paid a lot of money. I feel great about it. Also, uh, the team is going to be able to do some things. What kind so of things? Win, 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 win. What are, what are we, the Royal? Well, there was a guy, you know, there was a guy here at practice yesterday. You know, not today. Yeah, not today. But we'll see what happens. Uh, there's other guys out there that might be available. So. However, Dalvin has now flown back to South Florida, where he does currently live, where this would be reported not long after. After spending Sunday with the Jets, Dalvin Cook has returned to South Florida. By all accounts, his meeting with New York went well. However, he does remain a free agent. Dalvin does want to join Aaron Rodgers on the Jets, as when he was asked about his chances of joining Aaron in New York, he would say, and I quote, I think they're pretty high, as Dalvin's also appeared in interviews about his rumored son signing with the Jets, to which he seems entirely on board with it, as he thinks the Jets would be a super team with him on it. You could probably say that, um, especially with the roster that they got put together already and with the acquisition of Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, adding a guy like me, you know, you know what I bring to the table and you know, like you said, it could probably be a super team if we put it together. We're also giving away copies of the new Madden 24. Subscribe to be entered for that. Surprisingly enough, the entire Dalvin Cook coming to the Jets all started with Aaron Rodgers reaching out to Dalvin about the idea, as he would even speak about it here. When's the last time you talked to Aaron Rodgers? Um, two days ago. Um, we, it was kind of um, text message. We, he just sent me a text message, just reaching out. But Dalvin, he's given back money to the Jets to be able to bring in players. As for what the Jets organization thinks of the move, they seem very interested in picking up Dalvin too, as the head coach spoke highly of the free agent in anticipation of his visit this weekend. Sounds like Dalvin Cook is coming for a visit this weekend. You know, what would that entail and, and what sort of things do you hope to get out of it? Um, like I said, we'll never say no to a great player if it's uh, if the opportunity presents itself in the right way. So excited about him and his visit. Uh, it's really just being able to get have a conversation, get hands on him. I, I know he's got some things that uh, uh, medically that would have to check out and all that stuff. But uh, uh, again, excited about his uh, his visit and the chance to sit down. He's dynamic. He's a dynamic ball carrier. He's 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 been a, a dynamic ball carrier for a long time. He's great in the past game and. Uh, so it's just a matter, like I said, of all the details of that, I'll, I'm not going to get too detailed, but he's like, you can't say no to a good football player. They usually find a way. After meeting with Dalvin Cook, and then when he flew out to New York, Robert would update in a press conference about the entire situation to give you a better outlook on how it went. What happened? That's, that's pretty much it. Call it a meet and greet. Uh, I don't know about recruiting, um, but uh, uh, I think it's just more just to get a feel and make the best decision for your family. Did you try to sell him at all at some point today on why you think he would be good here? I guess. I mean, he's, I'm sure he's got a lot of questions that he wants to ask, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to sit down and, uh, and I can answer any questions that he might have. As there would be further questions asking about being in the race for landing Dalvin against Miami, and if they're really trying hard to get him, which Robert had this to share. It's a little bit of a unique situation with him because it seems like the two teams are really vying for him are you guys and then Miami, so... Theoretically, if you don't get him, he goes within the division. Does that play a role in, in 
wanting no. here to keep them away from them? No, uh, it shouldn't. You know, we're focused on us and how can we make ourselves better and how does this all fit? And if uh, you check the box of making yourself better, it fits the right way and we're doing what's best for this organization, then you make the right decision. But the main issue to deal with before signing Dalvin Cook is you're going to have to be able to pay him enough money for what he truly wants. And after we saw this report of Aaron Rodgers' pay cut, the Jets now have more than enough money to land this star running back. As we would see a report of, Aaron Rodgers agreed to take a whopping $35 million pay cut in a new adjusted contract the Jets inherited a two-year, $110 million deal, as Rodgers is now dropping it to a two-year, $75 million deal, giving them a two-year window to try to win it all, and now with more money for the team to spend elsewhere. This gives the Jets an extra $35 million over the next two years to sign additional talent in hopes of becoming a Super Bowl contender. Rodgers would have only made this move if the Jets had already known they can make as big as a move as signing Dalvin. This would lead to the video of Dalvin Cook saying if the Jets offer the correct number, he's going there. How far apart are you with the Jets as far as money goes? Um, I, that's something I let my agent take care of. Um, are you close to, hey, if they do this, they get to this number, you got green on? Uh, I, I guess so. I just tell him that green equals green, if you know what I mean. I definitely know what you mean. There's almost no reason the Jets can't land Dalvin Cook. As they have the money, they're at a deep playoff contender, and precisely what Dalvin is looking for, the New York Jets is. However, we then heard from a Jets insider that could stop the Jets from signing Dalvin. However, it does seem a little unlikely. What are you hearing about the Jets possibly acquiring Dalvin Cook? Yeah, I, I believe his visit will technically be Sunday. He's Sunday. flying in today. I think he's going to be on uh, Good Morning Football tomorrow. The two sides are going to know each other. They want to check on Dalvin's medicals, but I would say there's definitely mutual interest. And I think the fact that this is happening immediately after the Aaron Rodgers contract restructure, I don't think that's not insignificant. But just like how many fans are excited about the thought of signing Dalvin Cook, it seems like everyone involved in the Jets organization, they all want it to happen too. But, you know, this team's all in on winning right now. Having a guy like Dalvin who you can lean on for the first half of the season, I think that's very appealing, especially because he can bring something to the passing game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this team needs to score points. Their biggest issue last year was the offense. The defense is very good. And if you can bring in another Aaron Rodgers, I don't think that's a bad thing. So with both parties being incredible incredibly interested in pairing up with each other, assuming the Jets offer enough money, Dalvin also passing his physical, it now seems like a done deal. As one report would share, speaking with members of the New York Jets organization, I'm told an offer has been made to Dalvin Cook. Team representatives tell me expect a negotiation process to begin soon, but they are optimistic a deal will be finalized before Cook leaves. And while an official signing of Dalvin Cook might not be out yet, it's very very possible that Dalvin most likely just wants to avoid training camp. He is a veteran in the NFL. This kind of thing happens all the time as year over year of being in the league, training camp can just be incredibly repetitive. And most starters, they see it as a chore. Plus, when you look at the track record of the Jets offseason signings this year, they seem like they've already been picking up everyone they need. Robert even mentioned this in a press conference. You know, obviously Aaron's presence, and I think Aaron, you know, he made a heck of a statement, you know, uh, just to, you know, I've talked to you guys about how selfless and how thoughtful he is uh, with his statement and what he, uh, he's done with the organization in terms of giving us this opportunity to be able to go at least try to pursue a guy like uh, Delvin. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's been going on since free agency where guys kind of, it just feels like guys want to be here. There's a lot of excitement in the locker room, and uh, so hopefully that momentum continues. Robert and the Jets general manager, Joe Douglas, have done almost everything they can do this offseason to turn the Jets around. One final move, adding Dalvin, is just a more solid roster all around. As when you look at the talent on this Jets offense already, it's a significant improvement. Not only do you have Rodgers at quarterback, you have both Garrett Wilson and Alan Lazard at wide receiver, two great options for down the field. Pair that with the star young running back of Brees Hall, and then adding veteran running back Dalvin Cook where Brees can learn from, this offense is just loaded with talent. When looking at their defense as well, they ranked as one of the best defenses in yards allowed per game and points against. They are not slowing down this year. They have all got the same young pieces and a young hungry core ready to win. The Jets seem like the most likely to get Dalvin as we would even see an NFL reporter and other groups saying they're interested, where they would state, and I quote, update, Pro Bowl running back 
Dalvin Cook has about five suitors, he said. Cook is visiting with the Jets on Sunday, and he said the chances of signing with them are very high. The Patriots are also working on setting up a visit with them as well. It's important to note, yes, the Patriots are looking at Dalvin, but allegedly their meeting with Zeke Elliott went extremely well, and that offer may not even be on the table anymore. However, we would see the Miami Dolphins general manager speak publicly about Dalvin, leading us to believe the Dolphins probably have the second best chance at landing the star. You know, Dalvin is a tremendous um, athlete and football player and has been a productive player in this league. And so I think that's why everyone's looking at him. I said people would love to have him, but um, whether it works out with us or anyone, we're just very happy with the group we have and, and we're just moving forward right now with that group. Of course, we also need to mention the ongoing saga between Sean Payton and the Jets offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett, as this is very important to know, as Sean Payton went in on how badly Hackett coached the Broncos last year, stating, you can only lose so much. It wasn't just Russell Wilson. It was a bad offensive line and it might have been one of the worst coaching jobs in the history of the NFL. That's how bad it was. As Aaron Rodgers would come out defending his favorite coach, where he would say, I think he needs to keep my coach's name out of his mouth. As we would even then see Robert speaking on the situation too. I'm not going to acknowledge Sean on that. Is he, you know, he's been in the league a while. He can say whatever he wants. But, uh, but as far as, you know, what we have going on here, that's, um, you know, the, obviously we're doing something right if you got to talk about us when we don't play you till week four. And I'm good with it, you know, but, uh, you know, the guys in our locker room, they, they've earned everything that's coming to them and really excited about what's going on. I think Hackett's doing a phenomenal job here. Him, the uh, coaching staff is doing a phenomenal job and but really, really, really excited about the group we have, the coaching that's going on. And uh, um, but I'm going to keep our focus on us and making sure that we're prepared every single day to do the best we can. And 